guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a very creepy haunted WhatsApp number. This story is absolutely terrifying, and I'm probably going to delete the WhatsApp from my phone right after this, so. But before I get started, as you can definitely see, I have a new backdrop behind me for February. It is a snake skeleton, which I think is so cool. It's just so unique. I've never had a backdrop like this before, which is why I just really like it. It's weird but I am weird. So because I have a new backdrop, that means I'll be announcing the winner of last month's backdrop. That entry was over on Moot's channel. And the winner for that is Emma Smith. So congratulations. And thank you to everyone who went over and supported that channel. So if you would like to win this new, very unique backdrop behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel. So my Jessie V channel, turn on your notification bell. And the second thing you have to do is download my new app called Jessie V's Mom. Monster Chat. I have linked it down below in the description for you. It's a completely free app to download. I just really want everyone to play it because it is so much fun. In this game, you help me solve a monster murder mystery. I worked on this game with Ripple and we put so much passion into this. And so yeah, all you have to do is download the game and play it. And that is how you'll be entered to win this backdrop behind me. Oh, and to win, you have to play the game all the way through because if I pick you to win the backdrop, I'm gonna ask you who the murderer is and you have to tell me. It's kind of like the secret password to get the backdrop. Do you guys like how I have so many hearts all over me? I was trying to like embrace Valentine's Day this month. I know it's green, but it has pink hearts. And by the way, these earrings and this necklace is on our website right now. So I'll link it down below if you guys want one. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So there was a very creepy rumor that was spreading around the internet in Indonesia back in 2020. And it had to do with Facebook and WhatsApp. And what's interesting is that the news of this very scary legend never left Indonesia. So that might be why you've never heard of it before. Unless you are one of my subscribers from Indonesia, which is really cool. Technology-based urban legends have always creeped me out. I've done so many videos on movies and game glitches and haunted phone numbers. It's just so creepy because you can't really escape technology. It's always around us 24 seven. And especially when it has to do with our phone because we're never away from our phone. Let's be real. And before I get into this legend, I just wanna preface this by saying that the only sources discussing this legend are in Indonesian, which is a language that I don't speak. So I did have to translate some of it. I did find very few sites talking about this in English and the ones that I did were helpful to me, but there's not a lot out there in English. So if you're watching and you know this legend well and I say anything wrong or I missed something, please comment down below and let me know. Okay, so this legend is called Yoteno Wants to Call You. In May of 2020, rumors began circulating Facebook's Indonesian users concerning a mysterious profile belonging to someone or something calling themselves Yoteno. So people would just be scrolling along on Facebook and you know how every so often suggested friends pops up? Well, people were seeing this weird profile pop up in their suggested friends and Yoteno's profile picture was very unusual. It looked like a digital drama depicting a white-faced young person with long red hair, along with black holes for eyes and something black oozing from the character's mouth, there was just something so off about this Facebook profile. And if you were to send a message to this bizarre profile, rumors stated that you would have an equally bizarre conversation with its owner. They apparently send you this code that they want you to crack. And if you fail to solve this code, they will then send you a string of ones and zeros and people say it looks like it could be a message written in binary code but it could also just be complete nonsense and after these ones and zeros are sent it starts sending you phrases like I see you I want to call you you died today and what's interesting is that these phrases are written in English although the spelling and grammar were sometimes incorrect and after you get these creepy messages you'll supposedly receive a video call on whatsapp but by a mysterious number. And the most common number that people say belongs to Yoteno is 669-444-1925. And the WhatsApp profile matches the one on Facebook. So it's the same creepy person. So now you're faced with a decision. 
do you answer the phone call or not? And you can choose not to, which would be a wise decision, but if you do pick up, you'll supposedly see a real life monstrous version of the Yoteno illustration. It looks like a creature sitting in the dark with long red hair and glowing yellow eyes. So yes, this was really freaking people out and after this whole phenomenon went viral, people started saying that this phenomenon wasn't actually a ghost, but it was instead a hacker. Apparently when you engage with the Uteno Facebook profile and WhatsApp number, you were opening yourself up to having your banking information and potentially your entire identity stolen. Some say they will also be able to hack into your cell phone camera to always watch you. Now this warning was all over news stations in Indonesia, and now people have made hundreds of copycat accounts of this Yoteno profile. So you actually don't know which one is the original, which is kind of freaky. There's just so many people copying this. And in the end, it does make the most sense that this was probably just a manufactured story. Like there's no Yoteno ghost and there's also no hacker. It's just like an urban legend to scare people, but definitely tell me what you guys think. What's strange is that the number in this urban legend is actually not an Indonesian number, but it says it actually is a US number and it comes from California servicing the San Jose area. And it's not a landline and it's not a mobile phone. It's actually what's called a a VOIP number, which is a voice over internet protocol number, which means that whoever is behind it doesn't have to be in the United States to use it, so they could be anywhere in the world. And people have tried calling this number even recently and no one ever picks up or it just goes to like that busy signal. But what's creepy is that there still is a warning out there that says Yoteno still might see you and Yoteno still might want to call you, so consider yourselves warned. So yeah, this legend is still really creepy. I am tempted to try calling this number on the vlog channel because I am crazy. So we might do that. So just be warned for that. I would not suggest you calling it though. That's probably not a good idea. Especially if it's not an urban legend. We don't want to be like bothering someone's phone. Right. Anyways though guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more videos on like glitches or like creepy internet urban legends and stuff, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you would like to win this new backdrop behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed and then go and download my new game, Jesse V's Monster Chat and finish it and let me know who the murderer is if I pick you for the backdrop winner. Don't like spoil it in the comments. All right guys, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.